been on the wrong side of a lot of these games, as you guys know. It was just fun to watch these guys come in the locker room and beating a good football team in USC. Very talented group of players. When you think about what they had to beat, they had to beat a team that has won 18 in a row there. That's a tremendous feat by any program. I didn't tell them that. I, I knew the number. Though. And uh, I told them at the end, now they made it hard on me. Uh, I thought about maybe going back to television. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it just, it, it never ends. It's like, you know, Manny makes the first down, and I'm hollering, to be quite honest, one of our guys tackling, just somebody tackling, because the game's over. And uh, sure enough, he runs in for a touchdown, he comes back, and he looks at me, he says, Coach, I said, don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. Sure enough, I'm asking Danny Gonzalez, I said, okay, this is what we're going to do. Yes, we're going to do. And I said, whatever we do, just don't let them throw it deep. Just whatever we do. And they throw one deep. And they hit it. And they bounce out, kick, and get the ball. So it's 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 powerful for, for how we play. And, you know, games that we've lost, we finally won a game. A close game. But it's, it's, it's good for the guys. It's really, I'm really happy for the kids. <laughs> Yeah. We did, and, and, and that's SC. Um, they have a talented group of skilled players. Uh, they can make big plays, and that's what the game was really about. It was uh, all of a sudden the punt return. We played pretty good defense, we punt the ball, and then all of a sudden they run them back for a touchdown. We go, okay. And then, we're, then all of a sudden we have momentum for a little while in the first half, and then before the half ends, they hit a couple big plays. And uh, I told the guys before the game started, I said, whatever we do today, guys, we're not going to look at the scoreboard. Just don't look at the scoreboard. I don't want you to look at the scoreboard. I don't pay attention to the scoreboard. Going in halftime, I said, don't look at the scoreboard. Don't look at the scoreboard. Just, I said, at the end, we're going to win this game. So just don't look at it. And to their credit, they trusted me. And, uh, when we got down and, and they had momentum, I said, we have to, we have to gain momentum again. Uh, Eno was fabulous. Uh, he ran the football. Uh, and, and that got that started shrinking the game. Yeah. And that's what we need to do. We need to shrink the game. And when the game got back in our favor, obviously we made a couple plays, got momentum, and then they come back. And so it was, it was a good game for television. I mean, fans like those kind of games. I don't like those games when they get into the 30s. That's not the world I've lived in before. But, uh, I'll take it. It's a win. He's fabulous. Uh, it doesn't surprise me what he does. And, and, but that's what great players do. In big moments, they make plays. And uh, when you have enough of them on your team, you're always in the game, no matter how bad it is. You can play bad offense for a while, and, keeps messing around and all of a sudden they make a play and that's what you know great players make big plays in big moments and uh the kill is one of those guys along with three three makes big plays and the quarterback i mean when he has to make a throw you know this is one of his better games uh, you know the last couple weeks wasn't really sharp but threw some nice passes i, I thought uh, made some plays with his legs and they carried him off for a minute and i said well where's he at he said he's up somewhere, maybe he's in one of these tents. He's coming back, he said, baby, I said, okay, and then he comes back. And I look at him and say, you okay? And he said, yeah, coach. And I, I looked in his eyes and said, hey, I want you to be okay. Because if you're not okay, I'm not putting you in the game. Because I worry about player safety. I'm going to do it. And my doctor's clear and said, I can go back. I said, okay. I wanted to make sure with the doctor he was okay. He said, he wasn't going to go back in. And he went back in and helped the, helped the football team. Even though it was a tough third quarter for the offense, it seems like they built a lot of confidence in the first half that eventually didn't carry over in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and you know, it's like football comes in. in look, 
it's not like we're gonna come here on the road, by the way, and blow USC out. They've been 18 in a row in the stadium. So it's not like, you know, okay, when I look at the score, I'm going, it's not over. And that's why I told him, don't look at the score. I, I told him that last night. He said, whatever you do, do not look at the score. Because I've watched enough, enough tape on these guys knowing that any moment they can make a play. And sure enough, they have good players. They made some plays. And so I think our guys understood that. And they just kept fighting. And that's what these kids have done all year. They have fought. And I'm proud of them for that. I really am. Because that's hard to do. You know, all of a sudden you have momentum. You feel like your emotions are into the game and you're gonna, you think you're going to win the game at halftime and all of a sudden they get momentum in the third quarter. They kind of dictated the terms and in the fourth quarter um, we made enough plays to win. What's anything different now? Like you've been talking about that all year, right? Like just having to fight through tough moments, third downs, execute those kind of stuff with the refs. Is there something different? Well, that's what you want. You want it to happen. and. Um, I think, uh, you know, just talking to people, uh, other coaches uh, that call me every week and say, Coach, you know, just you know what's going to happen. I say, yeah, eventually we're going to win a game. We're going to win a close game. And you're hoping that this is, is something that we can realize we can do now. You know, that we can win these close games. And it, it takes a play or two. And sure enough, uh, we were at the end, we, you know, I, we took the knee, and, and, and that's always a good thing. Hey, Coach, Cameron here from L.A. They run their offense off, off the field on that fourth down. I feel off the field on that fourth down. You got to stop there. That hadn't gone well for you guys in earlier games on the road. Yeah. This time it, it, it did. did. And, 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 you know, we were very good on third down and fourth down. I, I, you know, you could tell, like, the, 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 you know, and, I, and I've been there now as a coach. Start listening to them fans. You know, they're, arr, arr, you know, and he calls time out. And I knew right there, I said, he's going to go for it now. I said, because kind of the fans are talking him into it, you know. And, and, and maybe he felt good about fourth and one, I get it. Um, but I've been there. You know, when you don't go for it. And I remember I went for one in New Orleans on a Monday night deal, you know. And could have punted it away and made him play it on a long field. And we were winning the game. and. I call the offense and the defense over there on the timeout, and I said, okay, we can punt it and play safe. You know what I'm trying to get them all excited. And they got all excited. I said, no, coach, let's go, let's go. I got Curtis Martin, you know, freaking to make the yard. Didn't make it. They get the ball, and they start going down. That's the Kyle Turley helmet deal. Mm. Like, that's that game. Mm. And so we ended up winning, but it's like, hey, I get it. We all been there. Hey, hey, coach, Cameron Buford, LA News Observer. Looks like you got that group of uh, – committed players that you've been looking for? We've got some, uh, we've got some young players that, that I'm, and I, and I love our seniors and juniors, so I don't want to sure. be little in my instruction meditation. But we've got some young players that walk into the stadium that are from Los Angeles, and uh, they're freshmen. And I'll tell you what, now, uh, you just see the grin on their face. Yeah. Uh, when they was, come back home. We saw it earlier. Yeah, win a game like this. Uh, you know, this, this, this arena has uh, has had a lot of great events. And I'm not saying this was some game that went on in history. I'm not saying that. But for me as well, um, I can remember in 1977 walking down that tunnel oh. as a rookie for the Philadelphia Eagles. And I saw a black limo pull up and I said, let me see who's getting out of his car. And it was Joe Nagel. And I watched Joe Nagel walk down that tunnel. I stood in that same locker that I'm in right now, and I said, yeah, that's Joe Maynard. I said, I'm playing against Joe Maynard. There you go. Lo and behold, my first NFL interception was in this, in this yard right here. How about Joe that? Maynard. How about that? How about I walked that? out there this morning on the spot. Ooh, I got it right. <laughs> there you go. Remember. So back, back when you were playing, they weren't calling these targeting rules. They weren't calling yeah. these targeting fouls. You guys got a guy ejected today. Have you seen a guy or a player get ejected on targeting on the offensive side of the ball? There was a right before your guy got ejected. There was a questionable call on that yeah. kick return. Yeah, it's just you know it's one of those deals. Yeah, um, and I understand. Look, we're trying to clean up the game. Um, the headgear is supposed to protect players. It, it shouldn't be used as a weapon. And I'm not saying it, it is. And I'm not saying guys are, 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 are intentionally targeting people. But things happen so fast in football, defensively, when you're going to hit a guy and all of a sudden he ducks, 
you, you, you can't stop. I say that as a former player. Sure. It, it's a tough rule, um, but it has to be implemented. The safety of the game has to be implemented for the players. So look, I, I told Coach um, pregame, I said, I hope your quarterback gets back soon, you know, because he had a concussion. And I said, and I said he said, yeah, he's going to be okay. And I said, hey, Coach, I hope he gets back sooner or later. Because you don't want any player to be harmed uh, in this game. It's a great game, and uh, you got to clean it up. And uh, it's hard for guys to change. Yeah. You got to start at a young, when they're Pop Warner kids. So sure. it's going to take a decade to get this out of the system, and eventually it'll be gone, and we won't talk about it anymore. Um, but it's a hard rule for the officials to to, to call. It's, it's hard. But, but it's, it's looking it's like it's more more one sided though. Only yeah, on the yeah, defensive well, side and not on the offensive well, side of the ball. Ask the defensive guy that. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I'm, gonna that I agree. Yeah, I'm just I'm just a head ball coach. <laughs> Uh, he had a shoulder. I don't know how bad he is. He's got a shoulder. We lost some guys today, and some guys had to go in and play. And it's a credit to Danny and those guys on defense getting those guys ready to play. Coach, what did you think of Jack Sears' play in his first career collegiate start? You know, Jack uh, did very well. I thought they managed him well, too. Um, he used his legs. We knew he could run. I had him in none of them, being honest. I think he was on that other team um, when he came out. And uh, we knew he was athletic, make some plays with his legs. Um, and did a nice job of throwing some balls down the field. This, this is hard. You know, a guy going to the game first time, that's, that's hard. You know, and, and I think what helped us, we didn't allow them to get the run game going with the running backs. You know, Coach Gonzalez and this crew did a fabulous job of knowing that they were probably going to run him some and get him on the edge, give him some nice throws. But he made some throws, too. You know, he made a couple throws for him. I mean, 21 throws a touchdown pass, and they – and they run a punt back, right? And call him. Yeah, so, you know, it was one of those games. It was, uh, it was a good television game. You know, that's the, the television game, you know. <laughs> okay, look good on television. <laughs>